Humans have four different groups of blood. They are A, B, AB and O. Really? Interesting! Can you explain me? Sure friend, A blood group contains antigen A on blood cell surface and anti B antibodies in plasma. B group contains antigen B and anti A antibodies in plasma. AB blood group persons will have both antigen A and antigen B on their red blood cells, but they do not have both antibodies A and B. The persons with O blood group will not have either A or B, but they have both antibodies A and B in plasma. It's great! Bob, then how can I find my blood group? We can find our blood group by a simple test. For this test, we need a glass light, few ml of blood and anti-A, B and D reagents. Place three drops of blood on the slide. The three drops were named as A, B and D. Now add anti-A reagent to the drop which is named as A. And anti-B reagent to the B drop. Finally, anti-D reagent to D drop. Now we can observe a clot in the A drop. This indicates that your blood group is A. If clotting is observed in D drop, then your blood group is positive and if there is no clotting in D drop, then your blood group is negative. Here, as we observe clotting in D drop, so this blood group is A positive. Thank you Bob. Bob, but how can we determine other blood groups? Okay, I'll tell you my friend, if there is clotting of blood in B and D, then the blood group is B positive. If there is no clot in D, then it is B negative. If there is a clotting of blood in all the three drops A, B and D, then it is AB positive. If there is no clotting of blood in D, then it is AB negative. If there is no clotting of blood in all the three drops A, B and D, then it is O negative. If there is clotting in D, then it is O positive. Here, the interesting thing is, A, B blood group persons are called universal acceptors and O blood group persons are called universal donors. These blood groups were discovered by Lance Jenner. Super Bob! 